everybody it's Wedge. Uh, had a great day yesterday. Went over a hundred miles. We're uh, now at mile marker 110 in Franklin, North Carolina. And right now I'm in Outdoor 76. This store is amazing. It's got everything you need and they give you a free buff. So I'm uh, switching out some gear. Uh, they said that they would mail off my other stuff so that way I don't have to just trash it. I could actually send it home. And uh, we're going to proceed on. We're, uh, we're going to take off tomorrow and head up to the Nod. So hopefully we see you, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Wedge heading north. Good day, everybody. Watch here. I'm at the Hilltop Inn, I guess it is, in Franklin, North Carolina. We took a zero yesterday. I didn't really film much. One thing I didn't realize was when you take a zero, your day is basically packed anyway with other stuff they have to catch up on. But we're wrapping things up here. We're getting ready to go on trail. Uh, we're going to Winding Stair Gap, and uh, we're going to make a push for the NOC. I don't know if you notice. Know also, it's a pretty famous van right there and a wonderful person that drives it. So, looking forward to getting on trail. Looking forward to spending more time with Fresh Grounds and his crew, a bunch of great guys. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Uh, we're getting on the road here, and we have uh, Bobby Greek right here is gonna be taking us up. Hey, if you're guys ever, doing? If you're ever in Franklin, call this man for your ride, and uh, great dude right here. Peace. All right, everybody, we're heading up to the trail. Say hi to Jeff. It's like, yeah. Hello. Yeah, all this stuff. Um, yeah, the yeah, turtle. What's this, up? Weather tech stuff, man. That's what I got. Yeah. That's the best. Hello everybody, Lost and Found and Wedge just made it up to Siler Bald, which is, the top is back there, which, somewhere, which I could see from here, so I have no real need to walk up to the top of that. So it looks like we're just gonna progress on and uh, hopefully make it to Wild Bald in a little while. So on that note, I'll talk to you in the well, five seconds for you, about three hours for me. Later. Things are starting to get real. You know, it was, uh, Georgia was a wake up. You just like gets you going. But now I'm starting to see landmarks that I've seen in all the other videos that I watched. Um, can't even describe how many. I'll try. 
probably gonna leave some people out, but I watched Hiking Dancer, Geocache and Katie, Jay Wanders Out, This Dude Hikes, uh, Frozen's Outdoor Adventures, uh, Early Riser 7-1, and a bunch more. And the thing about that is, oh, and Darwin, you can't, you can't forget about Darwin. And the thing about that is, when they stopped at all these places, you know, when you watched it, I was like, oh, I hope that I, I can make it that far myself. Now here I am, 10 days in, starting to get to the bigger landmarks. I mean, one state's down, I'm in North Carolina, and I'm approaching Wyatt Balt. You know, it's weird. I mean, you always have self-doubt and stuff like that. You have to dig deep in order, you know, to get, get moving, but journey's been incredible so far it's also getting real in the sense that you know you start seeing people drop out you see people that are your friends dropping out people you follow on youtube or instagram some people ahead of us dropped out that i was following some people behind dropped out and you know you know it puts a little self-doubt in your mind sometimes but just when something like that happens you come here and it just erases everything. It's amazing. So here we are, on top of Wyabald in North Carolina, after having walked here from Springer Mountain, Georgia. This is absolutely surreal. I've seen this spot many, many, many times in people's YouTube videos. I'm in the spot where Darwin, a couple of few years ago, had to end his hike because COVID was kicking off and they kicked him off trail. I'm like standing here right now. And it's just, it's weird just, just being here and seeing this. It's like going to Disney World the first time. You see it in pictures and you want to go, you want to go, and then finally you get there and you're like, you don't even know how to react. Really, truly grateful that I could do this. Hey everybody, it's Wedge. Uh, I'm at Waya Bald Shelter, which is right there. Today was a good day. Um, we only did about 11 miles. When we stopped off at uh, Outdoor 76, they told us that this close to the beginning, we're pushing ourselves doing 16s and 15s. Um, so it's better off that we drop ourselves down to about 10 to avoid injury. So we listened to them and uh, we did 10 miles today and we're gonna do 10 miles tomorrow. And then the day after that is the knock. Another place that I've seen on so many videos that I'm looking forward to going to. Like I said earlier, it's getting real. I'm seeing things that I've been watching so many times on so many different videos. So this is this is getting really exciting for me, and I'm really enjoying every bit of this so far. Had a great time in Franklin. It's a great town, and uh, looking forward to going to Knock. So everybody have a great one. Wedge heading north. Blaze on.